your face You love the taste That sugar, babe It melts away So today's video is going to be a hair tutorial. I have not done a hair tutorial on my channel, so I was like, why the fuck not? <laughs> I'm gonna show you how I style my short hair. I've had my short hair for a couple months now. About to be, I wanna say I've had it for six months now, if not longer, and I absolutely loved it. I cut my hair at home by myself with the thought that I was going to regret it after and I was going to miss my long hair, but ever since I made that decision to cut my hair off and chop it all off, I have not missed my long hair. I absolutely love this length, I think it's cute, I think you can do so many things with it and it gives you so much freedom <laughs> with your hair to style your hair in different ways without it looking like a big blob on your head. This is my go-to hairstyle when I don't feel like ironing my hair pin straight. Love straight hair. You'd always want what you can't have. I don't naturally have straight hair. I don't naturally have this type of hair. My natural hair is a mixture of this with a half curl, wannabe, full curl type of head. I don't even know how to explain it. It's a mess. I feel like it's a mess um, and it can get really messy which is why I don't brush it out when I wash it. <laughs> I kind of like to call this controlled chaos because it is like a bedhead, messy wave, bohemian type of hairstyle. <laughs> you know, it's just perfect for anybody with any length of hair. It looks cute either way. And um, yeah, on another note, all of the products that I use to style my hair today are cruelty free for those of you who live a cruelty free life. So yeah, if you guys are interested, then please keep watching. And if you guys love this hairstyle, then thumbs up this video because I don't know, I love it, but I don't know if I love it as much as I love straight hair. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Let's get on to the tutorial. So starting off with my curling wand, which I will describe a little bit more in the description box below, and spritzing my hair with my Ion heat protectant spray that does a bunch of other things that I mentioned in my natural cruelty-free products that are my faves. I'm going to divide my hair into two sections down the middle where I normally part it. I'm gonna put one section in a hair tie and I'm gonna use the clip for the other section that I'm gonna be working on. I don't like to separate my hair in a bunch of crazy sections like everybody else. I just like to keep it simple. I'm grabbing a nice thick piece of hair, which is my bang in the front of my face. I'm gonna curl it outwards. I like to curl my hair outwards and you'll notice that the beginning section of my hair which is more closer to the face i do a more one curl to the back one curl to the front and a pattern like that but as i get on to the rest of my hair i just curl all of them outwards if that makes sense you guys will see i like to hold it for about 10 to 12 seconds before i remove it now you'll notice that i didn't really you know separate the bottom hair to the top hair and i don't really curl the bottom hair that lays closer to my neck because that hair is much more shorter than the hair that I'm curling right now so it's kind of difficult to get it into a curl without burning myself. But the good thing about doing this hairstyle which is kind of like a messy wave slash bed head type of style is that you won't really notice that the bottom of your hair is like straight and the top is curled because the curls are just so big and wavy that you don't even realize that the bottom half is not. So I like to do it like this and I feel like my whole head doesn't need to be heated. <laughs> Does not need to be damaged. Just make sure that you know you pick up the pieces that are gonna kind of cover the bottom pieces. Just go through your hair, see how your hair moves and pick up those little strands. So after I'm done curling the whole head, I like to pick up random little tiny thin pieces of hair throughout my head where I feel like I want a little more volume. And I like to curl those all outwards. And these are just gonna sit on the top of the hair that we just curled and give you the appearance of a fuller looking volumized head. It's like putting the cherry on top of a cupcake. I think it just completes the look and makes it look super cute. <laughs> Thank you. 
You see this little strand right there that I just picked up is an example of the hair that you wanna eyeball and see which ones peek through and curl so that you know it's all equal and all good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my other hair without doing a voiceover, my other hair. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side of my head without doing much of the voiceover just so you guys can get a visual and just see it and yeah, it doesn't go too fast, so that's a good thing. I want you guys to see the whole process without having to sit here for 10 minutes. Overall, this hairstyle is quick, it is fast. I did it in about, like I said, 10 minutes. So it's easy, it's quick, it's perfect for anybody, and yeah, I hope you guys liked it. So this is it for the rollover. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Check the description box where I will give some more details on the curling wand that I am using right here, and there'll also be a link there for you guys to go check it out. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Bye, guys. Take my hand and we'll go away to a different place. We'll float on air and we'll hide away.